It's a new way to train surgeons. This is actually the first time we've run a course in, in using 3D models here at SickKids. And it's very clear that it's a, a great way to train uh, for complex surgery. Steam right here is the tip of the commissure. I use the tip of the commissure as the marking point for where it's going. The, the hut is very small, and then yes. the access route is an opening window is very, very small too. And then, more importantly, these the cases are very, very rare and complex. So small size, complexity, and rarity, a few people will be able to learn how to do it. So however, by 3D printing, you can make uh, 100 uh, the same cases. The, anybody can practice on the uh, same structure. So that is the real value of that. All the moves you have to make, all the cuts you have to make, uh, the positions you have to put your body in to successfully take stitches are the same. Uh, the tissue feels different. Uh, in some ways it's uh, a little bit weaker than human tissue, which in fact can be good because you have to be more delicate working with it. Uh, what we get is great spatial relationships. So we can see where the arteries are, we can see where the holes in the hearts are. What we are still missing is the valves inside the heart. So it will be some time before we can actually print the valves themselves. If this hadn't torn out, this would be almost to the very tip. We, we're using five different models. So each of the models represents a very specific form of disease that is very different. They came from five different patients with five very different problems. I would take a surgeon who is fully trained and bring him into my practice as one of my partners and over the course of four to seven years work them into doing progressively more complex and more complex operations. And so this is a way of doing that in a much more rapid fashion. Straightforward surgery is quite easy to train individuals to do. This type of surgery that we're training on is very advanced surgery.